All right, boys and girls, back again with another real adventure. I'm Zach here, and I am out here on the eel again. And we are going to fish a nice spot over here and some reeds and uh, rock beds. Love this spot, man. Hopefully, the spot loves me today. But we got some muddy conditions. It's starting to clear out. It's more stain than muddy now. But hopefully, um, yeah, we'll get a rage swimmer on a spinner bait jig head and um, see if they want to nail it all right let's go grab some slabs all right here we go first area choice as you see here we have a nice weed bed and we have a couple rocks out here that are creating a nice pool and there's a little eddy right here we're gonna see if um can't use this rage swim bait to um Target some nice size, chunky smallmouth. Here we go. Oh, we got him. There he is. Good. Oh, oh, oh. stay down. There we go. That's not a bad thing. What we got? Oh, yeah, I see you. It's a spider, buddy. You're a spider. Ooh. All right. There he was. Oh, shoot. Caught knocked the thing down. There he is. The first one. Nice 12 inch. Right there on the Rage Swimmer. And a spinnerbait jig. All right. Sweet deal. Let's get him off. Here he goes. All right, buddy. You ready? Whoa, you gone with the wind. Awesome deal. Nice. We're not off to a bad start. Been here about 10 minutes and made about 15 casts and already caught one. Granted, it wasn't, you know, a slab, but it's still something. It lets me know there's some fish here. So we're going to get back at it probably pay in the same spot for a little bit longer and um, yeah move on down so what I like to do is reel a couple times pause it pop it back up reel a couple times pause it pop it reel a few times I always want to let it drop a little bit Reel a couple times, pause it. Pop it, reel a couple times, pause it. Pop, reel, pop, pause. Pause, pop. All right. A little bit further. Now we're going out there into the abyss a little bit. And we'll work on this area for just a little bit longer. All right, so I'm going out a little bit more towards the middle of the water column here. See if there's something laying out there. Holy smoke! Holy smoke! Woo! Right on that pause, man. Like I said, you gotta kill the bait sometimes. Because he was probably following it the whole time. And then as soon as I killed it, he just took off with it. Man, that is a pretty fish. Now. Probably about pound and a half, getting closer to the two side right there. That's a beaut. Check it out. There's a grass off this 
eyeball here. Yeah. Nice. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Pretty good in these waters. He was just right out here. Probably right in that little rip wrap right here. All right, I better get him back in. Don't leave him out too long. It's enough. Uh oh, oh, there we go. I thought I was gonna have to get the stats out. Here we go. Nice pup. He's going back in the water. All right, buddy, go swim off. Go be with your friends. Tell them I'm here. Send your biggest boys out. Man, happy fishing right there. Well, there he was. That was a pretty nice fish and. Like I said, I was using the Rage swim head on a spinnerbait jig head. And the whole principle behind that is the Rage swim bait, it throws off a nice wake to it, but it really doesn't put off that much noise. So I wanted a little bit more flashy and a little bit more noise in the water to help uh, the fish locate a little bit better. Since the water is a little bit murky here and I just wanted to ensure a chance of them being able to find it. So yeah, that's the whole principle behind it. Push down a little bit further probably gonna try this as my last spot. If I don't get anything here, I'm probably gonna call it an evening. But we'll see. I'd like to have a few more fish, but sometimes that isn't always how it works. Okay. That's probably gonna wrap me up. Uh, I haven't really got anything over in this area, but that was a good start to the day. Got those nice two fish and um, yeah, man, it's just not very productive, but a couple fish is better than no fish. Hope you enjoyed that afternoon fishing with me and I hope I give you a couple pointers and tips to help you guys out the next time you wanna fish some high muddy waters. Like I said, them swim baits, they destroy them all times of the year and muddy water is no exception. But as I said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, yeah, I'll be back.